hello everyone welcome back to another video i'm so excited to have you back on my channel this is a special request on how to make a crinoline fascinator i mean how to make a fascinator base using crinoline i'll also be showing us how to make some petals and the rose with crinoline if you are new to this channel hello and welcome my name is dalapo of crafties if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button tap the bell icon this will make you receive notifications whenever I upload new videos. Now let's get to work. You're a rolling stone, but I'm a cannonball. The first step is to cut out your art wire. Okay, you can use any measurement you desire. It could be shorter, it could be long, it depends on how you want it. Then you just overlap it like that and use your cell tape to wrap the overlapped part round. Now we will need to cover the art wire with the bias tape and with my UHE glue I will be doing that right now. If you have been following us on this channel, you should be very familiar with this. Here I have covered the wire, the art wire with bias using my UHE glue. And what I was just doing here was to verify, I was just trying to confirm the measurements after covering the wire. And the same measurement was what I used in cutting out my crinoline. But I had it about one and a half inches. That will serve as an allowance for me to join the ends of my crinoline together. You will understand better when we get there. Now, dear friends, what I did here was just to verify if the crinoline I have cut out is enough to cover my wire, you understand? So now, the next thing for us is to apply glue on the ends of my crinoline and I glue them together. Before then, I was just applying glue on the tip of the crinoline, you know crinoline frays. So I just use that to seal up the end before I glued them together. Okay, we are on to the next step and what I was just doing was to place the wire in between the crinoline like that. Okay, I fold it over the wire like that and I just place it properly you know like you're folding the crinoline into two and placing the wire in between so I do that then I'm going to use my needle and thread to run stitches round the middle part like that I'm just going to run my stitches like that round Kindly follow us on our Facebook and Instagram pages at WB Crafties. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscribe button, tap the bell icon, so you receive all notifications whenever we upload tutorials on this channel. I'm going to run my stitches round like that and I'm going to pull the thread. We need to be very careful at this point so we don't um, damage our crinoline while pulling the thread you just need to be very very careful okay and at the same time you need to make it firm so as you can see the way i'm pulling it i'm just pulling it right there and i'm going to secure it properly at that point i'm going to secure it right there Having done that, we just need to cover up this 
old we are saying there so you can use fabric flowers any design you can come up with you can use that to embellish your quinoline base i'll be doing some petals and a rose to cover my like an opportunity for us to learn how to make quinoline petals and rose on this channel so for my petals the length i used is 10 inches the width of this quinoline i'm using is about 7 inches i won't alter that part i'll just measure the length of about 10 inches and i'll be doing that in three places to make my own petals yours could be smaller yours could be longer well, I will just show you the method here. I cut out the third piece and I keep that aside. For the rows, the measurement I use is 20 inches. It can be shorter and it can be longer. You know, it all depends on what you want. It's all about being creative or it depends on the exact design you want to achieve. All right, we want to start creating our petals. The measurement I use for this, you remember, is 10 inches. And I folded the crinoline into two, then folded one end in form of a triangle, then run my stitches from that end to the other end. I folded one side in, in form of a triangle, as you can see, and I run my stitches down like that. Before I finish up running my stitches to the other end, I'll fold it in form of a triangle as well. Please watch what I'm doing. I know you will get it. You'll get it. Just watch this part. I pull the thread to form gathers and I'm going to secure that end right there. That is how I did my own petals. If you have any other method, you can try it. So I'm going to make three of these. Then I move on to the making of our rows. I'm going to secure this part very well. You need to secure it properly. Okay, so it doesn't fray apart or loosen up later. Now to make our rows, we'll fold our crinoline into two. Then we're going to tie both ends. We're going to tie both ends, one after the other, with our thread a needle Now we shall run our stitches. I'm going to sew running stitches from one end to the other end, just like that. We'll just um, sew our running stitches from one end to the other end, like that. Then we'll pull the thread we're going to pull the thread so it's more or less like forming a circle then what i will do now look at what i'm doing i'm just going to turn i'm going to turn it from the middle to form my rows then i'm just going to secure it right there if you have any other method there are several ways of making roses you know if you have any other method you can try it out so this is just how i did my own rows I secured it properly at that point and the final thing I did was to assemble assemble the petals and the roses on my fascinator base. Now with my needle and thread, I'm going to secure the petals on my fascinator base. I arranged it, I placed them where I wanted them to be. 
Please ignore this silver thing you're seeing on my workstation. I changed my mind. I didn't use it. So we will just secure our petals on our fascinator base. Please keep watching. Now, before I tack my rows to my base, I have this piece of felt. I'm going to cut out a little piece in form of a circle. I'm just trying to reduce the circle here. It's a little bit um, wide. I apply glue on the piece of felt fabric and I'm just going to use it to cover the middle part of my crinoline base. That's the other side of my crinoline base. The idea is to have something that the rose will sit on to be able to secure it properly on the base. That is just why I did that. After which I'm going to attach my Alice band with my alt glue gun. Please watch this video to the end to see how I did the finishing, how I attached my Alice band and embellish with just few feathers. I just like it being simple. You can embellish as you desire. Finally, finally, I have attached my Alice band and we have come to the end of today's video. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, comment and share this video as well. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.